First hero will help you out. The great thing about Instagram Live, guys, the great thing about Instagram Live is the fact that so many members show up every single week. And that's, I mean, that's dedication. That's pretty much putting in the time. I mean, if you want to make this work, guys, you, I mean, dude, let me tell you something. I'm not calling myself a celebrity or, or like a superstar or anything like that, but you know, man, when I started trading, if, if there was someone like myself or Alex doing these Instagram and YouTube lives, I would be fucking first in line, anxious to listen to everything they say, recording, watching it over and over. You guys are so blessed to have social media. When I started trading, there was none of this stuff, man. The chat rooms, they had no videos. No one was doing this webinar stuff. Zoom, there was no Zoom. You know, Instagram just got started. So take advantage, guys. You guys are just too spoiled. The kids today, seriously, man. Time to maybe this Instagram live will light a fire in your ass. Because this is the opportunity, guys. You, we're going to look back. Every year we look back and we go, damn, we missed an opportunity. You know, you cannot nail every single opportunity. You know, just like every stock, you can't nail every stock. So you pick it. The, luck is when the opportunity meets preparation, right, guys? When preparation meets opportunity. So when you're prepared for the opportunity to come, you take it. And there's a lot of opportunities flowing around there. You're just not prepared to take them. That's why. So by coming out of these IG lives, I mean, these are the most informal types of talks that Alex and I do. We walk around, exercise, just, just get to know you guys because we cannot do meetups. We love meetups. We were the first to do these meetups because of the COVID. We can't do them. So this is as close as we can to meeting you guys. So take advantage, guys. Ask questions. You know, I know some of you guys can't afford MIC. This is why we're walking around. We are sharing you information. The people that are in MIC is actually in this IG live helping you guys. So you guys have questions. But you know, man, I'm going to tell you how to do it, man. Take advantage of this time. Don't ask silly, stupid questions that you can find anywhere. These are the types of information. This is a type of time that you ask questions that you can't really ask anywhere. So if I was going to meet, let's say like, like who who I love? I, I I mean people might hate this, but back in the day, you know, I was a program. I love Bill Gates, man. That guy was my idol. If I had met him, Microsoft was the shits back then. Oh my god! If you got a job in the Microsoft, you can get a job in any any company in the world. Any company. I would love to to have seen. My, Bill Gates walk around doing Instagram live, but he's so reclusive, so exclusive. No one sees him. He, he hides in a bunker somewhere. And Alex, I, I'm not saying I'm anywhere near Bill Gates, but you know what, man? I'm, I'm trying to help you guys get there. <laughs> I mean, and so take advantage of this opportunity. I mean, I would have loved to ask him these questions. I wouldn't ask Bill Gates like, oh, how do you install the the antivirus? I mean, fucking, those are the dumbass questions, right? You ask him like, you know, like, how do I get started? I want to create a company like this. How do I get a job at, M uh, at Microsoft? Things like that, right, guys? So use this, use this time wisely. Not to pump your stock, not to be a dumbass, but, you know, take advantage. Because, you know, one day, seriously, man, Alex and I might wake up and go, screw this, I'm tired. I'm not going to walk around no more. <laughs> I'm not going to walk around no more. No more IG lives, no more YouTube live, no more free shit on YouTube, you know? You just have to pay me. And fuck it. Uh, you're going to have to pay me $25,000. You know, just whatever. I could be a... That's what happens. I mean, dude, people get successful. And then they start to... Then they start to raise prices. And I've seen that. It's, it's funny. You know, I, I, I'm going to get this rent out of the way first and we'll talk, okay? But um, let's do the... What do you think, Alex? Should we do the rent first? I, 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 I'm eager to do this rent. And then we'll, we'll start on the... The education, what do you guys think? I'm gonna let you guys vote. <laughs> Red first or education first? I'll let you guys vote. Red first, right? Rent or education? <laughs> Everyone loves a good rent. <laughs> there we go. Let's hear it. <laughs> so, I mean, I've been, I've been renting the, about the same time. So, so this thing, guys, the markets are getting really difficult. The, the markets are getting very, very difficult. It's becoming extremely choppy. So what the term difficult means is it's not obvious anymore. 
a lot of these new traders, the market's been going straight up. Or the other way, if you are reverse. But um, the market's going straight up, guys. Buy the dip, buy the dip, buy the dip. You make money. There's, it doesn't take a genius. The problem is when it starts to get really choppy. There's no clear direction. You don't, it has head fakes, volume is low, you get trapped. And you're, you're starting to see that now. You're starting to see a lot of these guru gurus get, have problems. I'm not going to mention anything, but today, an example, they got frustrated and he just left. I'm like, what the fuck? He's like, I, I can't anymore. He's like, I'm like thinking in my head. I told my members like, sometimes it feels like a lot of these gurus that run these services are, don't have the best interests of their members in mind. They are trading solely for themselves and their ego. They are trading just to get the P&Ls to replace the sheep that blow up. When you do not know what you're doing, it comes out very obvious. It's like, if your strategy depends upon pumping, you're doomed. So that's what's going on right now, guys. Sheep are blowing up in the room. They have zero risk management. No one talks about risk management except MIC, seriously. When have you so hear someone talk about hard stops? We were the first one. When has have you heard someone talk about max daily loss? Are we the only ones? They even call they call it max daily loss training wheels. I'm not, I'm just laughing my fucking ass off. This is the arrogance some of these guys have. They 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 make money, and to be honest, this is the first day they ever ever made money. It's like coming into new money. It's like the worst shit. The fucking new money guys what? You know, they were making nothing before this year or 2020. Now they're all of a sudden like the best traders in the world. I'm like, what the fuck? You know, you, you made money where, I mean, I made money before you were fucking born, dude. You know, I like, keep have some fucking class. And so what happens is this. It spawns a bunch of arrogance and wrong teachings. They're teaching you to fucking do shit that, in my opinion, when the markets shift, from a bull market into a choppy bear market, they're gonna lose all your money. They're gonna lose all their fucking money. They have no risk management. Just because they have a giant account, they keep adding to a loser, whatever it may be. It may work for them, I'm telling you right now. Good for them, they will make money. But will you make money? Some of these guys show up to the markets five minutes before the open and start pumping. I mean, Alex and I up two hours before the market opens to try to research for you to create a game plan, to make a, a watch list. We are working round the clock. After hours, when the market closes at night or after 4 p.m., we are still there helping members. This is, so people think like they look at MIC, they go, whoa, these guys are making a lot of money. That's fucking bullshit. I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm like, dude, the amount of work is all fucking worth it. You know, seriously, we, you know, we have so many, so many help, so many, it's just crazy, guys. We are in there 24 hours a day, literally. Almost literally 24 hours. It's open 24 hours. I'm sleeping with my fucking phone. And if you don't believe me, ask the members. Hey, guys, the guys are in my seat. Am I in the fucking chat room after hours all the time? Who the hell would be answering questions besides Alex and I and all these people? These guys would even block you. So it comes to me this. It's like, sure, you made your money. But, dude. I'm just looking at the education some of these guys have. They think they're, they think they're the best fucking trader. I'll tell you why it, it took me all like ten years to start an MIC service. I was fucking ridiculously successful. No one even knew who I was because I didn't want anybody to know. You know, when you're successful like that, I, I don't need to brag. I don't want people to help me and all this stuff. And I, I don't feel like I could start an MIC service unless I had time to really dedicate into helping members. And that time doesn't mean money. Because to be honest, man, there reaches a point where you, look at me, I'm wearing shit from Costco, man. I don't need fucking fancy shit. How much, I don't fucking wear any fancy watches anymore. You know, like when I was young, yeah, I like that. I like that shit. But nowadays I was like, dude, if I start a service, I'm helping members. And so today really ticked me off with one of the chat room guys just kind of took off. He took a loss, 
You know, he said, oh, this is manipulation. The markets are choppy. No shit, the markets are choppy. <laughs> you, just got, you guys just got fucking lucky in 2020. You got fucking lucky. You know, trade for fucking 10 years and CV still make it. All the people that do not have proper risk management will lose all their money back. It's a fact. It's a fact of, fact of life. Same thing with, with reality of trading and reality of life. If you win the lottery and you have no money management skills, you will lose all your money. You will end up buying fancy ass cars. You would buy houses and then not realize you have to pay property tax on it. And that's why you see the curse of the lottery winners, right? It's not really a curse. It's just uneducated people with a lot of money. And so you got to be careful when you see all these, you know, we, 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 we started MIC with the mission of helping people to learn to trade guys. And then we started what's called the Trading Fish Academy. My goal, Alice's goal, MIC's goal, Tasha's goal, all our goal, the moderator's goal, is to turn this into some sort of university college. We are creating a curriculum. This is not a money grab. We are creating actual curriculum. We have Accelerator, which is a seven and a half hour course built by Joe Kelly and revised by all the moderators. This is our proprietary MIT strategies. We create a whole curriculum with the intention of replacing a university as an option. Because Harry hit it right there. How much did all of us pay for college? I seen some guys pay $400,000 to learn philosophy and he can't even get a job. You know, just because you go to college does not mean you're gonna be successful. Just like if you Learn to trade, you are not guaranteed to be successful. But the difference is, you don't gonna, you're not gonna owe hundreds of thousands of dollars. The price that we charge is very minimal. It's even cheaper than a trade. Trade as in like a skill, like a nursing school. You know, you're better off going to nursing school, <laughs> you know? And, and so the prices we have is like, dude, 279, $197 a month, which is like nothing, dude. And we teach you guys everything that we trade. And then, you know, we call that the Trading Fish Academy because, you know what, that, now you guys understand why we, we have that. Because we're building a curriculum, guys. A curriculum includes, you know, like books and all that, hard co- material so that you can study at home. We're not just fucking making shit up on the fly here, guys. You know, this is all based upon proven and all that stuff, proven strategies and all that. And, but the key is this, surrounding those educational books and curriculum, we have webinars. We have daily mentorship calls. We are there 24 hours a day. The education does not stop when the market ends. We have after hours, we have all this stuff. And then I'm seeing these people create a mental institute <laughs> to rape you. I'm just laughing my ass off. I'm like, Jesus Christ. I mean, fuck dude. I mean, dude, you're already making so much money. It's like, if you're gonna do some shit, man, I don't understand how you're gonna rape people. You know, all, all the stuff that they teach, I'm not gonna bash whoever it is. My point being is like, there are so many fucking people out there trying to capitalize on this stock market thing. And it gives us a bad name, man. We have to go and help you unlearn all of the bullshit. All of the bullshit, man. So do not fall for that. First thing you gotta realize is like, take a look at who is teaching you. Do they care? Or they just want your fucking money? I mean, personality, in my opinion, I'm gonna tell you guys something, man. I don't give a fuck if you are the best trader in the world. I don't give a fuck if you're the richest guy or the best looking chick. If you're a bitch or a stuck asshole, I don't want to be your friend. I'd rather not learn from you. What are you learning exactly? You want to, it's, it's like, it's like Star Wars. You want to learn from the dark side or the, you know, the, <laughs> the force, right? I mean, dude, just take a look at some of these. I mean, I'm just, I just cannot believe that these people are, there are people, but you know what? There, there are a lot of people out there. There are rapists out there, the murderers, they're assholes. You know, not everybody's the same, guys. Everybody just wants a quick buck. Not everybody wants a quick buck. You know. So I am telling you, find someone that matches your personality, guys. And I'm glad that our personality is very different than these other guys. You don't see us like being an asshole, bragging. I mean, dude, we just really honestly want to help people. And that's why we're being trolled a lot. And so, what you're gonna see is this, guys. The reason I say this is because the guys at MIC saw that, man. I'm just, I'm just like so fucking frustrated. They're, they're like, oh, the market's being manipulated. I'm like, you are the manipulator. 
when you're making money manipulating these fucking stocks, you don't say shit. The woman else, someone else manipulates and you lose money, you fucking cry. So, which leads me to this, guys. Education is the key, but not only learning the right things, learning from the right people that care. And learning goes beyond just the nine to five, guys. We are there after hours on that. Okay, I'm gonna get, that's the rant. I'm keeping very short. I'm gonna move on to the next topic. And this is where the rant came from. The rant came from hiding your P&L. You hear this topic a lot. Should you hide your P&L? And the reason I, I thought about that today is because one one chat room pumper, you know, I actually, he's a good guy in my opinion. He just doesn't really, he has a strategy, you know, it's cool. I, I really have nothing against him, by the way. He's a lot better of a human being than most of these other guys who are straight out like assholes. <laughs> but, uh, you know, he's just a new trader. You know, with, you know, he does what he does. And so he's been losing. So as someone's losing, they try to try different things, right? So when you lose, you try different things. And then there's this little thing going around the, the, the Twitter universe, the FinTwit. Hide your P&L. Hide your P&L. I'm like, dude. You know what? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you what, what my feelings on that, right? If it works for you, it works for you. But when these guys are hiding the P&L, they're actually talking. I don't, I, they're, they're doing the math in their head to see how much they make. Hiding the P&L is only going to give you anxiety. Guys, learn a fucking trade without looking at the P&L. Hiding the P&L is training wheels. Seriously, you need to know your P&L, guys. I don't, I'm, unless you're fucking rich with a giant ass account, you need to know your P&L. Do you know why I don't need to hide my P&L? Do you know why MIC members do not need to hide their P&L? The reason why we do not need to hide our P&L is we predefined our risk. These other guys, they pump, they dump, they have no plan. We are the first to talk about plan and process. Now everybody is starting a service pumping process. They don't know what the fuck the process is. It was just a cool buzzword that Alex and I created. And people are laughing at us. Now everyone's fucking using that fucking buzzword, process. They're going to be soon be using the buzzword, predefine your risk too. Predefine your risk means this. Before you enter a trade, you should know ahead of time how much you're willing to lose. Where are you going to stop out for a loss? Place that hard stop in there. By doing that, who gives a shit about your opinion? I already know ahead of time how much I will lose or how much I will win. Because part of the predefining your risk, part of the process says, I need to know where I'm going to exit for both a loss and a win. Think about that, guys. Why do I need to hide my fucking P&L? I already know how much I could possibly make or lose. Because I predefined it. What a fucking concept. Why the fuck are you winging a stock? Why are you making shit up on the fly? This is why people do not have a process. Those that do not have a process becomes random trading. Random trading becomes gambling. We have a process. It is systematic. It is repeatable. It is teachable. Just ask Tom. Tom now has the same exact charts as I do. James has the same entries. The members of MIC have the same entry. Where I short, Michael Midtown is selling his long position. Do you see the process, guys? We teach the same process that Alex and I trade. Where I short, long members are selling their long positions. Where I cover, they are buying. As a result, we do not need to pump and dump. We taught the process. This is the true definition of a process. Not this hiding P&L bullshit. And this is what pisses me off. Pe people take our buzzwords and they start teaching and they teach you incorrect shit. I'm just like, oh my God, dude. I'm just, it's just unfucking believable you know? And then I see some guys like bitching about zombie hour, how, oh, I went long zombie hour, made money. These guys are telling me not to sh uh, trade during the zombie hour. No, you dumbass. We're telling you that around a certain time, these stocks are zombie. 
You know, if you're a short seller, your edge is diminishing. If you're a long bias trader, start looking for these zombies. Learning how to use these information is part of the process. I can give a fucking monkey a hammer. And if the monkey is a dumbass, he'll take the hammer, hit his own head with it. Because he hasn't done this, understand how to use the hammer. But MIC gave you the hammer, not only give you the hammer, teaches you how to use the fucking hammer. So he's not fucking hitting himself in the head. All these tools are useless, guys. All these indicators are useless unless you know how to use them. These motherfuckers are making 25,000 fucking holy grail indicators that are useless. How the fuck are you going to make money off of these indicators? You, 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 I'm like, fuck, dude. They just want to sound smart. Pull up a screen. You have all these fucking fancy lines all over. You pull up my screen. There ain't shit on there, bro. <laughs> they used to laugh at, they used to laugh at my line charts. Because you know what? It was so fucking simple. Why? I'm using candlestick, Japanese fucking candlesticks with a fucking Arabian night. Uh, time frame, you know, I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Are you making money? No, but it looks fucking cool. I can tell people I fucking do this shit. I sound like a smart motherfucker. <laughs> you know? So, guys, that is the hiding p &L. If it works for you, it works for you. But in my opinion, in my opinion, the people that are hiding it are the people that have a hell of, hell of a lot of money. And they have a, their own strategy, guys. They're hiding it because they're swinging the stock. They don't want... Do you have to flight or flight? Let me say the flight. You know, when you get scared, you run away. Um, feeling right because they're like, oh fuck, I'm up or down hundred thousand dollars. Because they have such massive swing sizes. But we are just normal day traders, guys. I'm teaching MIC guys to be a normal day trader. The moment you start making a big roll, then you can do whatever the hell you want. I just want you guys to get to the point where you're consistently profitable. If you, if I can get you to the point where you're making hundred dollars a day consistently. $100 a day, $200 a day, that will change your fucking life. If I give you a stock tip and you make fucking five grand, that's not gonna change your life. You're gonna take that fucking five grand and lose it right back. But if I teach you instead to make $200 consistently a day, that will fucking change your life, guys. Because a blueprint for $1,000 a day is $100 a day, $200 a day. Because you level up, you learn you learn how to consistently make money. You, you learn how to properly manage your risk. These guys are just, I mean, dude, sometimes guys, this is why, you know, like, I, what, what we're trying to do is trying to fucking educate the masses, guys. Educate the masses. I mean, dude, I, if you have a million dollars in your account, fucking good for you. But if you don't know how to trade, it's like playing poker. A guy with a, $1,000 buy-in that knows how to play poker will kill you. Even if you bring in $100,000. So I covered the hiding PL. I hope you understand that. High PL, you're still gonna do that shit in your head. You're giving yourself anxiety, man. It's not gonna, I don't look at my PL, by the way, guys, until the trade's over, because I'm too busy focusing on my charts. I focus on my charts. I'm learning the right things. If you are losing, so this guy was losing. Instead of learning why he lost, he blamed it on his PL. He he blamed it on the fact that he can look at the PL. That's not why you're fucking losing. You're losing because your fucking entries suck. You don't know when to buy. <laughs> you, don't, you don't know which stocks to buy. You have no risk management. Things like that. Okay, so that's enough with that. I want to make it quick now. So so the next is this, guys. I when we launched MIC, we always I always talked about MIC as the country club for the average day person. Where can you talk to a millionaire? Where can you talk to an auto mechanic? Where you where can you talk to a doctor, a lawyer, whoever, or a guy in Asia, a guy you know, over in Turkey, a guy around the world. You instantly, when you join the community, you become family and i'm starting to see people use the word family and i'm like jesus christ these motherfuckers can't they just come up with their own thing they're not a fucking family 
You fucking come into the market five minutes before the opening, you start pumping shit. And then, and then you brag, and then you leave. What the fuck? Family, they go home, you eat together. How many times have I eaten? How many times have you guys eaten with us at MIC in after hour chow, right? I'm eating, we're eating, we're just chatting. We're fucking even drunk together, dude. <laughs> like on days that, I, you know, we get drunk, we even come and become drunk together. That's fucking family. Family are helping each other. Family is sitting around, walking around, talking like this. Family is just not pissed off that I'm losing and I leave. As the father, you have responsibilities to your children. And I see of all you guys as my children. Okay? I don't want to be that fucking old, but, you know, I'm hoping that you guys grow up now to be big brothers and big sisters, you know? But, you know, man, I feel bad. I, I stick around. Even on... How many days have I fucking taken off, guys? Hardly. You know, even on losing days, winning days, I'm still there educating guys. Okay? And part of that is take advantage of your community. Take advantage of your family. You, you know that there's 2,000 people in MIC. And out of these 2,000 people, there's a huge range of people. There, there could be guys that are fucking worth $100 million. Who the hell knows? They just want to learn to day trade. They're guys that are really rich guys, richer than all of us. You know? They just want to learn to day trade. They may suck at day trading but they are the most powerful doctors the most powerful lawyers who knows and so as such take advantage of this family environment and so we call that the ecosystem i call that the ecosystem guys so like if we needed a graphic designer there are people that stepped up <laughs> and a lot of these graphics were created by an mic member if i needed <laughs> to, you know i met i met a great doctor too through online i'm not gonna say anything but you know, lawyers, whatever it may be, right? Auto mechanics, there's a ton of people, guys. And so, with this, I'm gonna give you guys a great offer, a great opportunity, not an offer, a great opportunity. I have friends that need people to work for them. Finding good talent is very difficult, guys. Putting a, a, a job request online, you will get a bunch of people that you have no clue who they are, but, Putting a job request out in, let's say, an MIC environment, you know that they're fucking hardworking people already, that they are in MIC, that they have goals in their mind, the similar goal oriented. Okay? And so we have friends in the finance, stock, all sorts of different industries. That if you want to get a job, guys, if you're looking for a job, times are tough. Send an email to us. It doesn't have to be finance, too, it could be engineering. Because eventually I want to get help out maybe a job recruiter or, or real estate agent if you want to get into real estate things like that so if you guys are looking for a job in miami or new york city those are the ones that are imminent and one of my friends asked like hey bell you know can you help me find people i have a bunch of friends like that in technology in in wall street and whatever else so send us an email with your resume uh, Alex posted the email, you know, I'm going to post it on Twitter as well, but work in finance 2021 at Gmail, work in finance 2021. Hey, you want to strip? Cool. Send me your resume. Make sure it's a high, <laughs> high definition JPEG with a high 4k video. <laughs> so it's great. You know, it's like, dude, we have so many members guys that just want an opportunity and this is the environment we want to create, man. We want to create a family environment where we're helping each other. And anything else, Alex? Work in finance 2021. I try to keep this really short and sweet. Like a lot of you guys want to become MIC Junior Mods. That's a great way to put it too. If you want to be an MIC Junior Mod, hey, send your resume. I'm telling you, man, we have so many wonderful people in the community that we have not, like, even try to harness their power. Because, like, dude, if you need if you need a graphic designer, we have a ton of those people that are working, for, you know, that, that work in the trade, you know, things like that, guys. So send us a resume, guys. Work in finance 2021. Tell us where you live. But I think there's an imminent need for New York City and Miami. Okay? 
If you want it, it no, just, hey man, I'm telling you, this is an opportunity of a lifetime. You know, we, you know, like take your freaking chance. You don't think we'll, you'll get hired? Who the hell knows? The reason you may get hired is because you're in MIC. The fact that you already in MIC gave yourself a better head start than someone that is random on the internet. Because if you are an active member in MIC and you're a good person, and we go back and we review, you know, your your chat, you know, participation, we can tell these these companies, hey, this guy's really good. I will advocate for them. I will vouch for them that this guy is good. He shows up every day, is a hard worker, he just wants an opportunity. Anything else, Alex? You wanna come on Instagram Live, Alex? I'm gonna try that right now. Raise your hand, Alex. I wanna bring you on, and then if it, it cuts off, it cuts off, because I think we're done. But I wanted you to comment on that. My voice is really hurting right now. Sweet. Be well. So we're, we're gonna tell you too. Thanks, man. Alex, where are you, bet? <laughs> I wanna bring you on. Tomorrow, guys, at Wednesday, uh, every Wednesday at 2 p.m. market time, Tosh does a webinar for everybody. So. Tune in for that. I'm just waiting for Alex to... Because Alex is over in Miami right now. Where are you, buddy? <laughs> he is. Uh, he was out late doing business stuff for MIC last night. This is how the, the world works, man. We had a long conversation with Alex yesterday. And it's like, guys, it's not necessarily just what you know, but who you know as well, guys. Who you know is very important. Yo! Oh shit! Audio works. Finally, bro. It took long enough for this shit to work. Holy crap, dude! Hey, hey how's Miami? Show people how the beautiful weather, man. Check this out, bro. Isn't this crazy, dude? Look at that. What what would New Jersey be right now? <laughs> New Jersey right now is actually twenty degrees and cloudy, and everything's closed. All right, man. Tell tell. Tell people about the um, – because we had a great conversation about not just what you know, but who you know. Yeah, so, I mean, this opportunity – so, like Val was saying, what we like to do is we like to look at our community first. We like to look at our family first. If there's any opportunities out there, it's not going to be to some random person. And in this world, it's mostly about who you know and what you do, right? So, this opportunity is an opportunity to work in finance. Uh, you know, when you email, we'll kind of give you guys a little bit more details from there. But I mean, shit, if you guys want to make some extra money and you guys are kind of based out here, I mean, it's a no-brainer to just apply and see uh, if you can just do it. Correct, correct. You know, that, that's the whole point, guys. We, we don't really we, – we have friends that have a lot of opportunities, and so we just say, if you're around this, just do it. And an, op- an opportunity, we, you saw last week, remember, Alex, is the junior, junior mod position, things like oh, yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of people that want to become – moderators at MIC. And when we announced the junior moderator position. You know, some people got upset. They said, you know, why am I not considered? Why am I not considered? And the truth of the matter is, it is hard to become a mod, right? It is very hard. You are there almost 24-7 answering questions, creating content, and just helping members, right? So the way to be nominated as a mod or to be brought on is to be kind of adding value and helping other members without kind of expecting anything in return, right? So, I mean... Truth of the matter is, I see all these mods are attending the webinars. I see all these uh, potential mods attending the weekend Q&As. I see all these potential mods just trying to post their charts and add value, guys. So remember, and answering, answering questions when members ask. Exactly. It's hard, guys. It's hard, but uh, this is kind of just the start. And the way that we're going to do it is uh, we will nominate people. So if you have someone in your tab group or someone that you think we haven't noticed yet, Send me a DM and nominate them. Let me know why you want to consider them as a junior moderator. And then I will kind of talk to them directly, and then we'll take it from there. Another thing, guys, we, uh, we, we have announced this. There's so many things. We're, we're going to do the ambassador, a local ambassador. Because you know what, man? With the COVID, Alex and I cannot be around the world anymore. We yeah. want to nominate for each region an MIC ambassador. As an ambassador, it's just like the United Nations, right? We will fund you to, to create uh, meetups, local meetups to do whatever, to, to become an evangelist around your area, to help people go into high schools, go into colleges, you know, 
tell people that, dude, there's a there's a, something out there called day trading that people always thought was for Ivy Leagues only, but it's not. We're just a bunch of normal guys, bro. I'm in regular <laughs> shorts and just chilling. I said, we're just normal guys, bro. We're not wearing suits. We're not doing anything. With a great view. <laughs> yeah, that's but, so beautiful, bro. But but yeah, see, man. So we are trying to create this whole this whole environment. It's community. The community extends outside of the chat room. You know, people. These guys don't understand these other food rooms, the chat room service. It's not about the chat room, guys. It's about the community. It's about the people that are in the community. It's not about trying to rape them and things like that. I mean, we we help people. So like the ambassador guys, think about that. How awesome it is if you guys are. If you guys want to throw an MIC meetup, hit us up. Hit us up. You know, we will sponsor a pizza party. We'll do whatever. <laughs> we'll send you masks. <laughs> you know, things like that. So, yeah. Yeah, it should be fun, bro. And as COVID kind of slows down, guys, we plan on doing more meetups. You know, our heart and soul when we started this was throwing meetups. You know, last year, pre-COVID, we threw a meetup every other month. And, you know, the last one we had was in Miami as well. But, you know, when this slows down, gets back to normal, expect more meetups every other month. We want to travel the world. We want to meet you guys. We want to go every single place possible, guys. Great. So anything else? Tomorrow, 2 p.m. And uh, work in finance 2021 at Gmail, guys. Yep. So I'll, I'll see you guys at the webinar tomorrow at 2 p.m. It'll be on YouTube and it'll be on Zoom. All right, guys. We'll see you back in the room. Bye. See you later, guys. Later. Nice shorts, bro. <laughs>